Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Let's get all welcome back to the channel. Chrissy Tassi, I'm Chrissy, and let's go ahead and jump into the shit. Now, as we know, this past weekend, the BET Awards has taken place, and one of our very own, Queen Naja, had had the pleasure of attending the event. Now, other than the fact that Queen wasn't able to perform because of some technical difficulties, she also wasn't too impressed with these pictures that were surfacing around of her at the BET Awards. Basically, came on here without, with, I usually put the filter on, but I took the filter off Oh man, my lip gloss is like really, really like, it's lip glossing. Oh, I don't want that much. I came on here specifically without a filter so y'all can see all my stuff. But let me tell y'all something. I just had to get this off my chest because I feel like when you walk in the red carpet and stuff, you don't know who be taking. Is it just me? Like, am I crazy? But when you taking pictures anywhere, right? And people getting all different kind of angles of you, all different kind of lightings. I just feel like Getty's images takes horrible pictures, like of me. And people be reposting them. And I was gonna go on. Um, I was gonna like go on my story and post like, y'all, please do not repost any pictures from Getty's images of me. I don't approve of it just because like they take in different angles and different like in different lightings you gotta have like certain lighting for my pictures and stuff but um am i wrong for not wanting people to like repost my pictures um that i don't approve of like or is it because it's public that they should be able to i really really don't like it so i would appreciate anyone like honestly when i say when i ask y'all to not do it y'all gonna do it so but just don't repost like pictures of me please I post the pictures that I like, the angles that are good, you know, the ones that I like. Um, because, it, like, the, the way it is in the sun and things like that and different lightings, it just don't look right all the time. So, like, I just seen a picture on B&B Magazine page that they posted to me. And the picture looks uh, terrible, y'all. Like, I'm up close. And, like, it just looks, my makeup look hard and just cakey. I don't know why the quality makes everything looks bad. I asked them to take my picture down. But they didn't. They posted another picture instead. And, you know, um, I guess just kept it up there. I asked them not to. I asked them to take it down. But I just don't like that because then people make fun of you and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I'm about to go out, y'all. So, I just wanted to come on here and just... Say to all 16,000 of y'all, if y'all see any uh, terrible. But yeah, I'm about to go. Um, I'm about to go. Um, yeah, I got to put my shoes and leave. But yeah, this is no filter, y'all. And like, honestly, yes, I do have little makeup, like little small blackheads and pimples under my my makeup you feel me and i do have a bad side this is my bad side that's why you always see me taking pictures like this because i really don't like this side of my face like i don't know why i just i don't like it. it looks different but i just don't like when my pictures are reposted and honestly i'm gonna stop getty's images from taking pictures of me and just posting it without me being um being um sorry i can't think uh, yeah, but yeah, they just re they kept my picture up and I asked them to take it down and I feel like people be doing stuff to humiliate me on purpose, you know? But, um, I will see y'all later. Gotta go. Y'all gonna see some cute pictures. I'm gonna post some cute pictures later of me in this outfit. So, see, it's all about the lighting. You see? You see? All right. I don't need a filter. I don't need makeup. All right, I gotta go. Now I gotta say... It's who the fuck cares, okay? I feel like there were certain moments in the slide where she just had this everybody's out to get me and make me look bad type of mentality. And it's just like, I mean, not everyone's gonna know your best angle and the best light and your best look. You feel me? She has some other photos with Getty images that look bomb. It's gonna happen sometimes where you have a bad photo, but what you, what, like, what ask people to get a photo of you taken down from the internet is not possible like it's not it's, it's just not gonna happen especially at an event like the BET Awards I just feel like as regular people we already have to live our best life or try to live our best life not giving a fuck what the other person thinks about us but as a celebrity 
It's like, bitch, I'm rich. Like, why do I even care? If it's that big of a deal, shut your damn phone off and go back to living your best life. So I'm just saying, like, you know, as regular people, we should already have the mentality of not caring too much about what the other person thinks. But as a celebrity, you should give even less of a fuck about what's going on. Like, bad pictures is something to be expected with everybody. Like, you could have a good picture that you think is good, that other people think is bad, and vice versa. I know it sucks to have a picture going around that you don't like, but it's just like, you know what I'm saying? What could you really do about it? Hey, you gotta expect that you're not gonna look 100% your best every time a photo is taken or every time you go to an event. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't me, so I can't say too much. Like, I'm not a celebrity or none of the above, but you know, I just feel like there's certain things that you have to expect with being a celebrity. I'm sure this isn't the first and it's definitely not gonna be the last time where she has a photo that she doesn't approve that goes around. It's just like, it comes with a lifestyle. Go back to your fucking vacations, living your best life, okay? You got nothing to prove. You already have a whole fan base that thinks you're beautiful. It's just like, you know, why focus on the one negative picture or the one negative comment? Just come prepared for the next event and just be grateful that you even attended the event. I get it, like, ain't nobody want a picture that they don't like to be surfacing around them, but hey, you feel me? Like, we probably all have photos in our Facebook, MySpace, AIM days that we do not approve of. Now, in other news, Chris Sales had recently found out that he is not the biological father of his... not real son, Blake. <laughs> so I guess what had happened was he posted a picture of Blake and then Blake's mother reached out to him and said, take that picture down, he's not your son. I only got two kids, artists and baby Chris. I just found out Blake is not my son, but I wish he found his dad eventually. But no, I did, I was like, that's not my son, y'all. So sorry, I posted that, uh, the test came in. That's not my son, peace out. Bro, this female had me thinking that was my son the whole time. The whole time, putting me through all this stress, and then today she told me, take his picture down, that's not your son. I'm like, what? I'm like, you sure? She like, yeah, that's not your son. So I'm like, in my head, I'm just all types and confused. I don't know. Like, she just told me that's not, so that's not my son. Yeah. Bro, she just called me and told me she's about to sue me because I told y'all this. What should I do, y'all? A very awkward way to present that information to someone that you led on to believe was the father. But I just feel like... <laughs> and I'm just dead overall of Chris saying, well, hopefully he finds his father eventually. But that that I say, my kid. But in situations like this, it's like you gotta feel the most bad for Blake. And then I just feel like, on the other hand, I'm just kind of looking at his mother like, I'm sure you must have known this prior to you telling him. Not only was everybody kind of confused when he came out with this third secret son because we were just like, when the fuck did this happen? Where did this happen? So it's like, if some supporters had doubts and confusion, there's no way that the mother didn't. And that's what I'm really like, curious about. There's no way that as the mom you did not have a doubt that Chris was the father. Cause clearly you was messing with somebody else around the same time. And then it's just like, now I'm also looking at Chris, like, why didn't you just take the paternity test? Like, was you out here just fucking everybody to the point where if somebody came out and was like, this is your child, you're just gonna be like, okay. And it's even more awkward considering the fact that he got his name tatted. Like, I mean, people are definitely more lenient with tattoos nowadays, so it's like, whatever. I'm not sure if he's gonna really stay in his life at this point. I'm also sure there has to be some extent of love because at a point he did think he was his father and did spend some time with him, so who knows? Like, maybe, you know, he'll still be in his life. You know, I don't know. Now, in other, other news, Soldier Boy tried to shoot his shot at Neek. So Neek posted a picture in some lingerie and Soulja Boy commented, so fire. But that's all he said though, so it's not like, you know, he's directly shooting his shot. I don't know. But Fredo Bang added Soulja Boy and said, uh huh, that's cute? And this was a little bit confusing because last time I checked, Fredo Bang wasn't really messing with Neek. He posted a video with clown emojis over them of two women dancing in the club. The Shade Room teens posted the original video to reveal that it was Neek and one of NBA Youngboy's baby mother's Jalea. And so Fredo Bang having some sort of beef with NBA Youngboy just kind of set him off and he tweeted, What I look kissing the same lips that was singing the ops. You dumb or stupid? You got nerve. So I know why he's so comfortable trying to come for a soldier boy who he felt like was taking a shot at Neek 
Cause it's like, weren't you talking all this shit? Like, I don't know how you come back from that, okay? Cause if I was Neek and you posted a clown emoji over my face and was posting subliminals and asking me if I was dumb or stupid and saying all this extra stuff, like, I don't know how you come back from that. At the same time, I understood by Fatal Bank felt the type of way. You know, people know we got something going on and you're in the club publicly singing NBA Young Boy songs. I don't think it was that serious, but I can see where he's coming from. But I don't see how, like, you could go back to talking after that when you publicly humiliated me and was mad that I was singing the ops to song. Are you back in the comments coming for Soulja Boy trying to come for Neek? Like, what's what's going on? Are they talking again? I don't know. But that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down what you guys think below. Do you guys think that Queen should have authority to have these pictures taken down because she does not like them? Do you guys think that... I I mean, I don't know what you guys think about this whole Chris and Blake situation. Like, I just think it's fucked up. I feel like the baby mama should have let him know. Because there's no way that she didn't know or didn't have a doubt. You feel me? She's the mom. Do you guys think that Neek and Fatal Bang are talking again? Or that Neek is going to give Social Boy a chance? Comment down what you guys think below. Find me on Instagram at MSNashady. Shout Chrissy to SS2 Wives. I love and appreciate you guys. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, she the girl. Oh, yeah. She the girl. She the girl.